to an issue we've been telling you about, and this time another business in Portland having to close their doors. They say it's over safety concerns. Rains PDX says the crime got to be too much, and they are finally making that tough decision to shut up shop and close their doors. Liz Birch is there live in Northeast Portland tonight. Liz, so you talked with the owner today. What did she tell you? Liz, she tells me she's fed up, and you can really hear that in the letter she wrote to her customers. It says, due to the constant and unrelenting criminal behavior coupled with escalating safety issues for our employees, we've decided to permanently close. Rains PDX owner Marcy Lindolfo says the decision to close wasn't an easy one. But as things escalated from not just financial impact, but to safety issues for my employees, I, I just had to make the call. She tells me the break in started during the 2020 riots, but the vandalism and theft really ramped up lately. She says it started spiraling, including instances where people who were either on drugs or in some kind of mental health crisis would come into the store. Unsavory, unstable individuals coming in here and, you know, really scaring the crap out of my employees. Rain's PDX is part of what's becoming a growing trend. Businesses, small and large, deciding the risk isn't worth staying in the Rose City. So far, Starbucks has closed three of their cafes in Portland, citing safety concerns. Margulis Jewelers made the decision to shut down shop after 90 years in Portland, blaming the city and county leaders for not cleaning up downtown and getting a handle on crime. And last week, Salt and Straw told Coin the continued crime and drug crisis may force them to move their headquarters out of the city. Lindolfo says no matter where Portlanders stand on the political spectrum, she thinks we can all agree criminal behavior shouldn't be tolerated. Small businesses, we got a lot stacked against us because we have no backup from law enforcement. And in my opinion, from the officers I've talked to that have responded, they're just as frustrated. They want to serve and protect they're people. They do not want this crime happening mm -hmm. either, but they have to prioritize, you know, gunshots, murders, homicides. She says this isn't everyone problem, and we all need to figure out a way to get a handle on crime in Portland. I don't think anybody with a pulse in this city right now could honestly say they're happy with how things are going. And we did ask her if she plans to move her shop online or maybe just to a different location. She says no, they're closing altogether. Live in Northeast Portland, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News.